Greetings. Welcome once again to Richard's Corner as I show you the unboxing of the Isle of Cats designed by Frank West and produced by the City of Games. This is a Kickstarter deluxe unboxing where I have the base game as well as the late arrivals to an expansion for five to six players. It also comes with the bag of cats. I'll start with that where there are five bags with six cats each of each of the different colors. There's the purple. The red. The green. And finally the orange. I'll start with the late arrivals since it's a smaller box. The base game is a huge box with lots and lots of parts. So here's six extra cats in here. These are the ones that you use to, when you're uh, choosing player order in the game. The white one is the Oshak, which is the newest one that they uh, made for the game so for, for the six players. This is the insert. It's a one page for the five and six player rules and solo rules. Comes with one deck of cards. And this is to supplement the five and six players. And there's some extra cards in there. These are the cards that you would need for speed and for the baskets to capture the cats on the island. Very nice artwork. And these are some action cards or anytime cards. Treasure cards. And the lesson cards. These first two are the Oshak cards here. This is the back of the box I forgot to show you. The back of both boxes are very detailed, very informative. This is the contents of the smaller box, the late arrivals. First, there's the two uh, extra player boards featuring the new artwork. Each uh, player board is going to have a different animal. And the treasure maps are different locations on each ship. There's one area, a yellow one. 
the rats are also in different spots. Those are those little white circles. Now the boards accommodate three different playing modes. There's a solo playing mode. There is also the family mode. And there's also the regular play mode. The family mode makes it easier for the youngins to play without the extra uh, worries about paying for the cards. Um, the solo mode you're playing against uh, and not in a, an artificial character, artificial intelligent character. Here's the other board. It's got a hammerhead shark. They do have the rulings for each board, so you know which one you're doing. This is a chart for when you're scoring your um, different families. You need at least three cats of the same color. But the more cats you have of the same color joining together, then the more points, obviously, you get. There's one, two, three. There's also five punch boards with this expansion. This has got treasure and the yellow cats and some fish. Red cats, that's one of the Yoshaks right there. They can count as wild cat cards for any family. So if you got two red cats and you have one of them, you got three cats. Now with the deluxe, the fish are made out of wood. So I'm assuming that that would be for the retail version would be the punch board. There's the green cats and some treasure. And then you got a, there's also a basket. It's not just in black and white, it's also in color. There's the blue cats. And the purple cats. There's the other side. That's the thickness of the board. It's a little thinner than some tile games, but the artwork's really nice on it. So that's the late edition. And then finally, we have the big box of the base game. Again, it's very informative on the back. It has its table of contents. And again, this is the Kickstarter edition, so it will have more content than the retail version. I think it's mostly just that the Kickstarter has the um, wooden pieces and possibly some extra cards. I found it amusing on the inside of the lid that if you have a cat, you should place your cat inside the lid of the box because you know they're going in there anyways. Now, it wasn't supposed to be packed this way, but the shipping company, for some reason, put the instructions in, on the top, which kind of curled them up. Bend them a little bit. Ding the, thing, the rule book. Um, it's not too bad. The inside's very informative with a lot of colors, pictures, very clear you know, rules. This is for the setup. It shows you, like, basically on the ship, you're trying to, there's different areas of the boat, and you start off with negative points, and you're trying to cover the rats, because they're negative one points each at the end of the game, and you're trying to fill each area of the boat. Um, they're negative points if you don't fill them up. Most likely, you won't fill up this red area. 
because it's like the hardest, but you know, if you get these smaller ones, at least you're only going to be you know, negative for the one big part. And this is a card drafting, set collecting, tile laying game. So you got a lot of different types of things going on in this game. There's a, almost 300 cards to this game if you have uh, both the base set and the five and six player expansion. It's a lot of cards leaving. These will fit in the Ultra Pro, but these are thinner than your normal trading cards. So you might be able to find a thinner uh, sleeve. I like to use the Ultra Pro, they're just simpler and they're less expensive and they're durable. Okay, this is the bag where you'll put all your cat tiles in. Right now it's holding a lot more cats so the, than the fish. The fish are the currency in the game, they come in ones and three counts. the three fish every round you get 20 fish to start with here's the one fish did a nice job with the screen printing on all the Figures. And these ones are the same size as the um, the other ones I showed you. There's a difference in size between the player pieces. You'll use these bigger ones when you're using the O'Shacks to show what color your cat, you know, the O'Shacks cat is gonna be. And then there's more of the same type of cards. Um, they're, you know, everything is like a little different, but it's basically the same stuff that I showed before. So you got three, two bigger decks and one skip thinner deck. The one deck's probably the one for the family mode. Um, it just like streamlines a little bit and like I said, make it easier for the youngins to play. And then you got a lot more of the smaller cats. These ones aren't screen printed, just the larger ones were. really cute they had an extra offer that you could do if you wanted more of the screen printed ones so you could use them instead of these little guys whoops so there's actually three you know like bigger decks like I showed you at the beginning um, and then there's the one smaller one That's all that's in that bag. And they give you more baggies and baggies and lots more baggies. There's a mini roll thing for the. It tells you about the upgrades of the components. But yet there's more. There's a scoring pad.
pencil. And two. There's two smaller boards of more uh, cats. And then you have the original four boards that come with the base set. The octopus. Oops. Marlin. These are like really nice, uh, brilliant colors on here. Where is he? There it is. Dragon. Turn it this way. Mm, looks like a penguin. Mm, dolphin. These are on the other side of the boards. Mm, flying fish. kind of bird that is and finally turtle big old sea turtle okay and we got one board with more baskets you need the baskets in order to capture the cats and then we got one two three four five six more boards with more cats and treasure yellow purple green blue Red and white. And this is the island. Um, you start off on the five, and then you have one, two, three, four. You have, well, you have. I think it's five rounds, and then the last one's when the evil pirate shows up, and that's the end of the game, and you start scoring. And speaking of him. There's supposed to be a win one of him here. And some side. This is a di different types of cats' names. Fesh is the uh, pirate's name. One moment. Hmm. I'm not seeing the pirate's uh, ship here. So unfortunately, it'll be something else I have to report. <laughs> My box got damaged on shipping, which I'm assuming it got dropped because the packaging for this game was phenomenal. So, just double checking here. Nope. Okay, well, thank you once again for watching this video. And have a good night.